Upwards of 800 people turned out today at the Indio Fairgrounds to receive vaccinations for coronavirus. Among those lining up, Valley residents aged 65 and older. As News Channel 3's Shelby Nelson reports, demand for the shots is outpacing supply. I feel great. It's exciting. I d definitely don't want to get the, the, the COVID, so I just needed to get this vaccine. Well, I'm 73 years old, and uh, I've been very, very careful. I haven't seen my grandchildren in almost a year, or my children. My mother-in-law is in an assisted living facility. Each and every person has their own reasons for getting the vaccine. Since last week's first tier of phase 1B opened up, more and more people are lining up even if that means waiting more than an hour. I would say the line is moving reasonably well. About an hour. Lines wrapped around one auditorium at the Indio Fairgrounds and weather wasn't exactly welcoming with temperatures climbing above 80 degrees. It just seems like the process has been poorly managed been standing in line for almost an hour and a half. We're supposed to have appointments. One thing that is of the utmost importance, you need to have an appointment in order to get vaccinated, and if you don't, you'll likely be turned away. Riverside County Department of Public Health spokesperson Jose Arbio says some people are showing up without an appointment, hoping there will be leftovers, but that's not the case. We're finding that uh, the vast majority of people who make the appointments actually show up. Right now, all appointments are full for county vaccination sites. With our appointments this week, uh, we will be pretty much out of what we have now. Arbio says they're waiting on another shipment of vaccines. Only then will more appointments be made available. We have kept a certain amount for clinics like this, but the vast majority of our vaccination allotment has gone to our community partners, whether there's hospitals or clinics, uh, other businesses or, or, or entities. County officials are hoping to receive more vaccines in the next few days. In Indio, Shelby Nelson, News Channel 3. Now, for those who eventually receive the second dose of the vaccine, Jose Arbio says they'll have to go through the same process of scheduling an appointment. He also says the second dose could be taken outside of the county clinics as long as the shot is from the same provider as the first, whether it's Pfizer or Moderna.